burdens of proof. Burden of proof is our legal system's way of saying to you and your lawyer, if what you're saying is true, then prove it, and here's how you have to prove it. Now, when the government is bringing its case in a criminal matter, the government's burden of proof is our highest burden of proof. It's proof beyond a reasonable doubt. My name is Matthew Maddox. I'm a lawyer here in New Canaan, Connecticut with the Maddox Law Firm. And we're speaking about reasonable doubt today. What does that mean? Many people, many lawyers don't understand that concept. Our judges of the Superior Court have said that reasonable doubt is that degree of doubt which in the ordinary course of your day-to-day -day lives would essentially make you stop, would make you pause before you continue. In my mind, I'm thinking of a decision which would affect the health and welfare of your family, something which would obligate you for some number of years. It's a factor, it's a point that you can define, that you can speak about, and you can say, this is making me stop. That's reasonable doubt. It's the government's burden of proof in every criminal case. It's what in ensures us that our freedoms will be protected so that the government isn't permitted to incarcerate people and deprive us of our freedom on lower burdens of proof. It's proof beyond a reasonable doubt.